Have you ever wondered why the secondary winding of a current transformer should never be left open? This question might seem complex, but its answer is crucial to gaining a solid understanding of the core principles of electrical engineering. The current transformer, often known by the acronym CT, is an instrumental device typically used for monitoring and measuring the value of current flowing in an electrical circuit. It differs significantly from a power transformer, which operates on mutual inductance, as the CT's primary current is dependent on the load current. This characteristic ensures that a CT's primary current remains consistent, irrespective of whether its secondary is connected with a burden or not. This critical information helps us understand the risks associated with an open secondary winding in a CT. In a power transformer, the primary current is a reflection of the secondary current, an equation determined by the MMF balance rule. This rule is a fundamental principle of the operation of a power transformer, serving as a foundation for its overall functionality and effectiveness. The MMF balance rule states that the product of the number of turns and current in the primary winding equals the product of the number of turns and current in the secondary winding. It's represented in mathematical form as N1I1 equal to N2I2. This equation is crucial in understanding the workings of a power transformer and its conversion properties. But what if we consider a situation where the secondary winding of a CT is left open, the circumstances change drastically. In such a scenario, the secondary current will effectively become zero while the primary current maintains its original value. The result is an imbalance in the system. This imbalance creates a significant networking MMF, also known as the magnetizing MMF, which is concentrated in the core of the CT. This large MMF launches a considerable amount of flux into the core of the CT, leading to its saturation. This saturation is not a favorable condition as it leads to a high flux linkage in the secondary winding. This high flux linkage in turn causes a dangerously high voltage to be produced across the secondary terminal of the CT. The high voltage can lead to the insulation failure of the CT, which can pose a serious risk of electrical shock to anyone working with or around the CT. This heightened voltage condition is not an anomaly, but is commonly referred to as burden voltage or excitation voltage. But that's not all. The excessive core flux can lead to various problems, including increasing hysteresis and eddy current losses. This essentially means that the current transformer, otherwise known as a CT, is likely to overheat due to these issues. When a CT overheats, there are several consequences that could potentially occur. One of those is the oil within the CT tending to vaporize. This vaporization process can cause a significant buildup of pressure within the housing of the CT itself. And as pressure to build, there's an increased risk of a catastrophic failure. Not just that, this could potentially lead to a fire, posing a significant threat to safety. So, to put it simply, the secondary winding of a CT closed is not just a good practice, it's a necessity. It's crucial for ensuring accurate measurements, protecting equipment, and maintaining the safe and reliable operation of electrical systems. So the next time you're working with a current transformer, always keep the secondary winding closed. This small step may seem insignificant, but it's critical for safety. It's merely about grasping the principles, but applying them effectively and safely. This application can save lives and prevent major equipment failures. Such is the captivating realm of current transformers. It's not just about comprehending the theory, but practicing safety-oriented solutions. After all, this blend of knowledge and application is essence of engineering. Because at the end of the day, that's what engineering is all about. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. If you have any doubts or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Thank you for joining us on this exploration.